So we're here at CVS with Fittacy. I'm here with Kevin. He's going to explain a little bit about his uh, 3D printed shoes. So we've looked at 3D printed shoes in the past, but these guys do it differently. So can you explain a little bit about your shoes? Yes. So for us, 3D printing is really about customization because we believe shoes are supposed to help you stand and move for hours without feeling tired. And unfortunately, the shoes today are just not doing that because a lot of we see a lot of ankle problems, knee problems, back problems, they usually start from the shoes because perfect symmetry doesn't exist in human anatomy. So you always have one ray, uh, one arm bigger than the others, one, one foot bigger than the others. So standard size shoes just doesn't make sense for us. So that's why you start with an iPhone scan and then we get a 3D model of your foot. To our, we send it to our AI to do the anal analysis and we send it to the printer to do the printing. Cool. And how do you guys do the 3D printing? Is it FDM printing? Or... No, it's uh, SOA. SOA, Yeah, okay. so this is made uh, with uh, resin oil. Okay. How did you guys get started as a company? So it started off as a research project uh, based out at MIT. We work with a lot of 3D digitalization technology, and we just think that it's time for this technology to become mainstream because your iPhones are incredibly powerful today. And then uh, that's why we're able to develop an algorithm that can achieve two millimeter accuracy. A little bit of backstory is that we work with um, we worked with veterans. So okay. we started off our working with the uh, Kentucky Medical Center and then they have a uh, custom shoemaker that make custom shoes for veterans. And that's it. That's when it all started because uh, a lot of veterans, they need custom shoes, but then they need to go for fitting. They need to wait for a long time. They need to pay a lot of money. Yeah. So I think this is where we come in. So we provide scanning solutions for them so that they don't need to go in for fitting and they can receive their shoes uh, quicker and cheaper. Before pe if people think about bespoke services, it's a lot of human labor. So that's why it's really expensive. The, so people want to order custom shoes. They need to go to a shop. They need to get custom fitted and they cost thousands of dollars. So with the iPhone scanning capability, this no longer needs to be a case. You can order a custom shoes from the comfort of your home. That's super cool. And yeah. how, how long do the shoes take to print? Like from beginning to end, how does the process work? Uh, four hours. Four hours, really? Yeah, so it takes about one minute to scan your feet and it's about five minutes for AI to do the work and then printing is four hours. Do you guys have just this one style or do you plan on expanding to yes, more styles? Yes, yeah, so we have another shoe that's coming out. It's gonna be more for all seasons. Okay. So, uh, so this is more of a summer shoe. It's a concept shoe, people look at it, they know it's 3D printed, they kind of understand the technology behind it. So we're planning to uh, produce our uh, all season shoe this year. But it's gonna be made with four components, so it's a little bit more tricky on the production side. So you'll have like four different material types within the same shoe? Yes, exactly. That's super cool. Ideally, we wanna have all of them 3D printed, but then that might be a little bit challenging. So we'll have to go uh, run a lot of different experiments. How, how do the shoes wear? How do they feel under your foot? How, do, how would you yeah. describe it? Um, I think the right way is kind of, you feel connected to the ground, but then also gave you the cushioning that you feel like you can easily move around for a long time. So, uh, so when I put it on, the first thing is I think it's very light because they are very light by nature with the lattice structure. Yeah, but that's, that's what I noticed when I was wearing them too. Like, there's yeah. very light and very they, light, very, very breathable. springy. Yes, like, very especially... springy. Springy is probably the right way to go about it. And we added this like uh, sneaky technology. It can kind of like push you forward a little bit. So it's like okay. it's just uh, so kind of helps you move, it giving okay. you the inertia. Can you explain more about this sneaky technology or is that more proprietary? The, yeah, this is kind of a secret. But then uh, the idea is that the shoes, they're supposed to help you move. So I okay. think for us, it's really about movement. How durable are the shoes? How long can people expect the shoe to last if they wear daily? Um, so two years wear and tear. We're about 200 miles. Cool. And then what happens to the shoe once it's been worn through and it's worn out? Yeah. So after you people finish the shoe, we encourage them to send it back to us so we can reuse the materials for other purposes. So they're probably not going to be able to use for make another shoe, but we can use, definitely use them for something else. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk about your company. With thank us. you the so much. Super cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Eden. Always Let, uh, love to talk about our product. Yeah. Let us know if these shoes interest you down below in the comments and we'll cut them in half. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah.